Well, welcome back everyone. And here I have Mia Jenkins from Laritz and Gardens. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having us. So Mia, tell me a little bit about, let's just talk about the gardens in general. Sure. We're gonna talk about some holiday shows coming up, but let's just talk about the gardens. How long, wh when, when did the gardens first open? Well, the garden, it's kind of a story in itself. Sure. So a group of uh, volunteers in the community led by Helena Street, kind of in the 80s, really had the idea of the garden. And it was a grassroots effort for a long time of just people bringing plants from their own yards to this little patch of property at just at 6th and Cedar Streets. And um, in 2001, and a few years before that, they secured funding from the Lortz and family and built the Visitor and Education Center. And so that's really when we opened for full-scale operations. Right. Um, but since then, we've, you know, when you opened with a, a few little garden areas, we've really blossomed thanks to the generosity of our community. And uh, I love the idea that it was created by the community, this idea they had, and it's it's created for the community and sustained by us for their enjoyment and education, and it's really sustained and fostered by the continued generosity of people through membership and attendance and charitable donations. Yeah. And there's just, there's so many amazing events that happen throughout the year. I can't even imagine what it would be like going to work <laughs> there every day. Well, and getting to be there right the, the work environment is great there's stresses just like any other sure. job um, but at the, end, at the end of the day there's it's like a four-legged stool kind of you have the beautiful horticultural displays that rotate with the season so there's always something unique and different to see um, and even just a walk every day you notice something differently than you did the day before like on lunchtime walks and things it's like right. oh that wasn't blooming yesterday that's fabulous that it's yeah. finally coloring up or um, and then you have educational programs so anything from family workshops to adult education programs connecting people with nature in different ways uh, then we have plant conservation, which is a relatively new program for us, but really working to conserve endangered plants of the Great Plains. Right. It's kind of behind the scenes work, but really important work in terms of the natural world. And then, like you said, special events and the, all the fun things that we bring to the right. table through events and exhibits, anything from car shows to antique shows yes. to Valentine's Day dinners, there's always something going on in the backdrop is so beautiful the to do it in. The architecture in the backdrop and the conservatory um, mm. that opened up just a couple years ago um, is yep. beautiful and it's just it is. stunning just sitting right there. And the conservatory is so great to enjoy this time of year yeah. and in the next six months because when it's gray outside and you get those snows, the the, the juxtaposition of the lush green palm trees and ferns and the warmth inside, it just really kind of yeah. makes those winter blues go right away. Yeah. Well, another thing to make the winter blues go right away is the poinsettia show coming up, which is one of my favorites. I just love Thank it. You. I love coming to the garden. So let's talk about it, about that. And it really has become an Omaha tradition. I think so. It's one of the things I look forward to every year. I know my family from out of town always want to come visit during the show. And it's really our horticultural representation and celebration of the holidays. And so we, we grow, we, we bring in over 5,000 cuttings in July. Wow. They always pick different varieties and textures, which I think is fun. You, you see the things that guests respond to year after year, like ice punch, which is a red uh, poinsettia, and the bracts are splattered with pink. And people are always amazed by it right. because it's so different. And then we have tried and true varieties that just grow really well for us in our greenhouses, and you know will make an impact in the show. And then there's the fun stuff, which is the new things that are, you know, just brand new to the market that right. we get to showcase for the first time that maybe the community hasn't yeah. seen before. And that's really important to us to showcase a diversity of plant material. And of course, it's always accented by evergreens and lights and different ornaments. 
this year is the year of the migratory, 100th anniversary of the Migratory Bird Act. So we are okay, going okay. to festoon the trees with bird ornaments and we'll have some taxidermy birds throughout the show and have some you know, interpretive information and educational messaging about how people can help conserve birds as well, right. which should be fun. And then of course, yeah. the trains that go right. through the show, um, which are always just, they create that sense of nostalgia that everyone loves. Right. And you see them going around the trees, or the trees kind of like some of us had as kids, but the little kids, it's just, that's my yeah. favorite part is watching yeah. people go through the show and the joy that's on their faces um, and what that brings to them. Um, and so it's just a really nice combination of things and components that bring people a little bit closer to nature, but also fill them with holiday spirit. Yeah. And you have something, the new family chill zone. Yeah. What the heck is that? So I'm really excited about that, about this. We, we kind of looked at ways that uh, families could engage more with the exhibit and kind of just things that stick around for a while. So our outdoor patio, right when you walk outside the door to the garden is now dubbed the family chill zone. Okay. We've built some giant igloos out of reclaimed materials. So think lots of milk jugs <laughs> and that kids can play in. There's a ice wall that kids can paint. I'm not exactly sure what that's really made of yet, but okay. it's a fun activity for the family. We have different rotating holiday crafts that they can participate in, and then they can make ornaments for our wildlife trees, which help to feed the turkeys, the squirrels, and oh all goodness. other kinds of birds on the patio. So and then at night, we'll have um, marshmallows and s'mores kits for sale, and families can kind of curl up and roast marshmallows by the fire during our evening hours. So I think it'll be, a, it just kind of transforms that area right. into a gathering place where you can meet people and talk to other people and enjoy time as a family making memories. I love it, I love it. Um, so here we're talking about a glow. How has a, talk, what is a glow? So a few years ago, we kind of, we were looking at the show and during our members night, we, we like a group of us got together and we were like, you know, this is so nice. The, the members get to enjoy the, the lights on the trees and it sort of is a different feel than the mm -hmm. show is during the day. And we were like, why don't we have mm. the public mm -hmm. get to experience that as well? And while we always want our members to have, you know, exclusive and sp special experiences, right. We just thought it was too good, good to not miss. to share, yeah. And with the addition of the conservatory, like you mentioned earlier, we were like, now we have this additional indoor space. And so for the last few years, we kind of slowly added things each year. But we've added light and it really transforms yeah. the environment. In some cases, it kind of highlights the plant material or an existing structure like an arbor or the ceiling of the floral display hall that has right. that really kind of dramatic archway, um, highlights the tree. Um, but in other cases, there's special light features that have right. been brought in, especially for a glow. And so it's uh, e select evening hours, mostly weekends, and then a few weekdays right okay. before the holiday season from five to eight. And it's um, the same price as normal garden admission, but we have hot cocoa and you know cakes and desserts for sale, the s'mores kits. It's just kind of, okay. kind of, again, another way to experience the garden. And it's really, I always say it's kind of just, a, it's a new light. It's a new way sure. to experience kind of the magic of the season. And um, this year we partnered with Holodynamics and they're bringing in some new and exciting light displays to yeah. the exhibit that I think will really, um, make it even more special. Yeah. So when does this kick off? Let's just talk about dates and tickets so people know where to go um, sure. and how to enjoy this. So, so the Holiday Poinsettia Show starts the day after Thanksgiving, okay. so the 23rd, and it runs every day through January 6th with the exception okay. of Christmas Day and New Year's Day when okay. we're closed. And then a glow, the hours are a little choppy. It's most Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings. And then I think it's like the 14th through the 23rd. Okay. Um, so the website is the best way, lordsandgardens.org, to okay. check uh, for the hours and times. Uh, but it's always included with admission, which is $10 for adults and $5 for children 6 to 12, and then free for children under six and garden members. Okay. So it's a great time to get a membership yeah. as well. Also, I think a membership, what a great gift. 
it is. Um, to give it a membership <laughs> for, um, yeah. for the holidays. So. I am a practical gift giver. So yeah. for me, things like memberships are great because you can use it all year round and they have $5 off gift memberships through the end of the year, which is a great special. And then there's always something that you can't live yeah. without with a gift or a stocking stuffer For in sure. the gift shop. So, Well, before, just say that website one more time. Sure, it's lauritzandgardens.org. Okay. Do I need to spell it, Lauritz? And it's kind of um, tricky. And it's going to be right, it should be right <laughs> at the bottom of the screen, <laughs> right here. So, um, so thank you again, Mia, so much for coming on. No problem. On. And looking forward, I'm looking forward to coming out and enjoying the gardens over well, the holidays. I hope it makes your season merry and bright. And I'm sure it will. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. And we will be right back.